Hey, Jordan, do you know what trees and dogs have in common? I don't know, what? They both have a bark. <laughs> well, Philadelphia has a lot of trees. Out to Keeley to find out more. Trees. Philadelphia is full of them. The city says about three million of them. From Rittenhouse Square to the Wissahickon, these green giants seem invulnerable, but the urban tree has a lot to deal with. Small sidewalks, not enough room to grow, compacted soil, um, de-icing salt, vandalism, some intentional, some not, car doors and bumpers and lawn mowers. Though trees sometimes are taken for granted or even seen as troublemakers, they do a lot of good. But what we know is where there's more tree planting, more urban cover, green cover and canopy and, and parks, that people are drawn to those neighborhoods, which increases the population and also not only for residents, but for industry. We all like to plant native trees, um, but a native oak tree um, could attract a, a much larger amount of native insects. You think, well, why do we want native insects? Our migratory birds, all of our birds, need these insects as the, the mainstay of their diet. In addition to the ecological benefits, people enjoy having trees around. You know, uh, a lot of people overlook the fact that, that, the, that the leaves make a nice sound when the wind is passing through them. Uh, we always enjoy that. Uh, they look great. Space for birds. I know we have lots of bees pollinating in the, uh, the flowers in this tree right now, so I mean, there are lots of benefits. I mean, they make it look nicer. Like, I like having trees. And also, I mean, important for me, an important thing with the trees is the shade. It sh it's putting a lot of shade on our house, which then will lead to less cooling need from the air conditioning. So, I mean, I think it's important. It just helps the city look like a more beautiful place to have the trees around. So who's helping the trees out? The Philadelphia Horticultural Society trains people to take care of trees in a program called Tree Tenders. The Tree Tender program, um, I actually started it about 23 years ago to teach people to plant and care for urban trees. So, I mean, there's tree planting. Many tree tender groups have gone out and planted trees. We'll plant about, uh, about 1,000 a season, 2,000 trees that we'll plant a year. We've been the largest game in town for years in, in tree planting. So they get back out and they do work to uh, make sure the trees are healthy. As many trees as Philly has, there's going to be more. The city um, is planting more and more trees. Mayor Nutter has a campaign that he initiated to increase tree cover in the city to 30%. And as part of that, the, the city has been investing a lot more money in, in tree planting and care. I think that, uh, you know, each tree incrementally improves um, people's outlook on where they live. Uh, so I think, I, think, I think tree by tree, it just raises the city up. What can an average person do to help the trees? Plant trees, water them. Water is, is critical. Most people think, you know, well, you know, a tree in nature doesn't get watered. Why do I have to water a tree that's planted in the city? And the problem is, is that when you plant a tree in the city, it's gotten, if it's a bald and burlap tree, it could have lost 90% of its roots. With the tree tender's help, people around Philadelphia are learning to care for their green neighbors. And despite all the challenges that urban trees face, there's no doubt that Philadelphia will continue to get greener and greener. I'm Keely Walsh for WHYY Young Journalists.